Michael, two undefeated today. What's your overall thoughts on that? Yeah, it was poor. Um, right from the off, I thought first off we were we were really poor. No energy, um, no enthusiasm. I thought they were they were better. They looked more energetic than us. Um, we were really sloppy in possession, um, and deservedly went a goal down. Uh, second half we were brighter. We came out great start. Got back in the game. Uh, made some changes, obviously at half time, and then sort of fell back into the back into the, the first half scenario where I thought they had more energy, more drive, more desire. Um, so yeah, I think it was a it was a fair result at the end of the day. I don't think we did anything out of the game and um, a really really poor display, but um, learned a lot from it. So what are we doing moving on from that? Newcastle under twenty threes on Tuesday. What 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 happens until then? We'll just we'll pick a team to go out and play that game, um, and we'll we'll look to get minutes into the, the whole group again. Um, it's about getting enough minutes into everyone to keep everyone at the level. Um, some got a chance today. We should have been, you know, maybe it's the you can't even say that it was the Hartlepool game took a lot out of them because I made quite a few changes today to try and put some fresh legs and energy into the team and it just didn't happen so um, yeah we'll pick a team to, to go out and play on Tuesday and then we'll do the same for the, the Stockton game and then we'll be ready for the for the start of the season well, Just to touch on Robbie Dale obviously he came on second half scored his first goal since being back what, what was your overall thoughts on his performance and how he's been since he's come back to the club Yeah I wasn't planning on putting Robbie on um, at half time um, I was going to make some changes I was going to leave Robbie and, and probably just give him half an hour um, just to sort of try and save his legs a little bit but um, after the first half performance I just thought we needed somebody with his experience to to go on and, and sort of get us on the ball and, and get us playing and he, he did that um, and you know great start got his goal um, he does add quality and calmness to the to the team when he goes in there um, but yeah I thought second half was, was slightly better but we were still still um, deserve to get beat yeah so what about where we are with fitness now are you, are you happy with what where the lads are at or? yeah I think we we've shown good fitness I think there was a, a lack of energy today um, don't think that was a fitness issue um, I would probably say I said to them at half time I think it was probably more of a mental issue I think some of them maybe thought that after getting a good result against Hartlepool they could just turn up here put the strips on go out and play and win um, and as they found out that, that's not the case you can't do that at, at any level so um, it's good I think that it's happened if we react in the right way um, but it's certainly a, a kick up the backside for them um, so hopefully they'll, they'll react well and go out and get a good result in the, in the next game and um, the result is important as such but uh, the performance really I want a better performance we've been very good with the ball, I feel, um, in the in the games we've played, especially with the, the two goals we scored against Hartlepool. But we didn't look like replicating that today at, at any stage during the game. Yeah, um, and just a final word on on the fans, because turned out with our numbers today. I mean, this the stadium was a lot of Bly fans in it. What, what's your final thoughts on that? Just they've been brilliant. Um, the the home crowds we've had since we came back um, have been been fantastic, especially the. Like say the Hartlepool game, you know, over 800 on a, a Tuesday night at seven o'clock kickoff, where people are probably finishing work and having to get home, get changed, and straight there. Um, it's great to see. Uh, I just, I just can't wait till the, till the first game of the season, um, and hopefully the, the Stockton game might be a bit of a, a dress rehearsal from that. So hopefully we can get really good numbers again to the, the Stockton game to give the, the lads an idea of what it's going to be like on the, the first day of the season. Um, and I know all the lads are waiting for that as well they can't wait to get started I've had conversations with them sort of one to one and they just can't wait to get into that first game but um, they're a little bit disappointed in there and a little bit hurting but uh, I like that it's a good thing um, and I'm sure after I left some of the more experienced lads have probably had a, a word or two so um, yeah we'll be in better shape coming the next game